So how about this? The third fight on the card, Robert Whitaker, uh, Duplices. Yep. This is another one where obviously Duplices, I think it's just the state of the middleweight division. They're trying to find fresh meat for uh, Izzy, the champ, the great Izzy, the pound for pound Izzy. Uh, there could not be a worse matchup for Duplices in the middleweight division. I mean, one through 50, there could be a worse matchup for him. Robert Whitaker, to go, hey, Duplices, you'll get to Izzy, but you got to get through Robert Whitaker first. You might as well just be like, it's never happening. It's just a nightmare for him, an absolute nightmare. I don't see in any facet how he gets it done. Uh, if you and th this is no, I, I'm not. I'm, it's not that I dislike Duplisi. It's just it's very black and white. If you're being subjective here, if you look at Duplisi's wins, you know the Darren Till win. Darren Till could have won that fight. Definitely could have won that fight. There's times you thought Darren Till was going to win that fight. His coach said it's a, a nose issue. He had surgery. You know, he's only breathing eight percent, which is all crock of shit. But Hopefully, his cardio got better. But Darren Till, there's definitely opportunities for Darren Till to win that fight. Uh, Derek Brunson, there was opportunities for Derek Brunson to win that fight. You know? And if you look at Robert Whitaker, he hasn't lost since 2014 to anybody but, in middleweight, to anybody but the best, Izzy. Nobody beats Robert Whitaker unless your name's Izzy. It's nuts, dude. And look at his resume. Just go through a, a few of the names. Uh, Derek Brunson, he starched him. Uh, Jock Ray starched him. Yoel Romero, uh, Yoel Romero twice. One of those was awful, right? Um, Darren Till, uh, Jared Cannonier, Kevin Gaslam, Marvin Vittori. And, you know, he pieced up Marvin Vittori, man. And he, anytime he fights these guys, it's not very close either. He's just a bad motherfucker. If, they're, if Izzy was born at a different time or Izzy was at light heavyweight, you, like Robert Whitaker's one of the greatest, if not the greatest middleweight to ever do it. It just sucks. The day he was born, the day Izzy was born, same time, <laughs> same same weight class. So, you know, he's the he's the second best we got. But boys, it, it's Izzy, Robert Whitaker, and then everybody else. Izzy is above everybody by a landslide, and then Robert Whitaker's above everybody by a landslide, and then the rest of the division. That's just what it is. So Robert Whitaker's the best middleweight, not named Izzy of all time, I think, hands down. Robert Whitaker gets this done. Would have to give him a title shot against Izzy for a third one. I'm not mad at it. I'd watch it. It's just tough when you see it so many times, you know? Yeah. 